Sheriff's investigators in Santa Cruz County are searching for a motive in a stabbing at Aptos High School that left a 17 year old student dead there. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live now for us at the Sheriff's Office in Santa Cruz with details on the arrest of two students in this case. Jesse. Heather, Sheriff's investigators say the two suspects, as you said, two students, both of whom are minors, and both could be arraigned as soon as tomorrow on murder charges. Meanwhile, the Aptos school community trying to make sense of this very disturbing crime. Wednesday afternoon, Aptos High sophomore Kayla Hadlin collected her backpack and other belongings at the school's front gate. The items and others have been held by police following a fatal stabbing on campus. It felt like, like at that moment, everything became like real, and I finally, finally realized that this is like a serious thing. Santa Cruz County Sheriff's investigators say around 2.30 Tuesday, deputies responded to reports of a stabbing. A 17-year-old student was found stabbed near the school's pool and was rushed to an area hospital, but he died from his injuries. County Sheriff Jim Hart says some students may have evidence on their electronic devices. Anybody who viewed that, viewed that that this, this horrible event is, is strictly a witness, and we just want their, their statement and any data that they might have. Aptos High is closed for two days while school district officials try to guide students through a difficult time. Investigators say two fellow students, a 14-year-old freshman and a 17-year-old senior, have been booked into juvenile hall and are charged in the fatal stabbing. The kid was in there for about like 40 minutes sitting with us and then they handcuffed him and that's when it kind of started to feel real because we were actually like close to one of the suspects. The Pajaro Valley Unified School District sent a letter Wednesday to its community saying in part the death of our student at Aptos High School is a loss that impacts each of us profoundly. Our district is mobilizing extensive resources and services to support and care for our community. This is probably something that's going to need to be looked at in an ongoing way. But sometimes these stresses and traumas kind of linger on. For Kayla Hadlin, the first few weeks after her transfer from private school to public school have been memorable in ways few have experienced or want. School district is holding a community forum tomorrow at 7.30 in the evening. They'll say more information will be provided as well as information about what's going to happen moving forward. That community forum will be virtual. We will provide you with a link. Just go to our website, ktvu.com. We're live in Santa Cruz. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of parents and students will have many questions. Jesse, thank you.